All right, we've got our installed. It's up and running. And just for this video, I'm going to give you a little tour of the GUI we're going to be employing. Just show you the basics of how to navigate the environment so we can get to conducting the analysis. So let's get to it. To ignore it. Some of you are going to want me to run R from the command line. Some of you are going to want me to use an IDE with my syntax highlighting other good features. But we're going to use the pre-installed Windows R GUI and I'm going to tell you why. Two simple reasons. One, it is utterly adequate for our purposes. It has everything we need. And two, it doesn't require installing any additional software for the sake of these simple tutorial videos. It fits the bill quite nicely. Now when I say this GUI is adequate, there's primarily one feature that I'm talking about making use of, and I'll give you an example right here. This is the R console, very much like running R from a terminal. You can enter statements in as input, the console will give you output. Let's try something simple, 3 plus 3, and it returns 6. Easy as that. But we're going to do things a little bit differently for the sake of these videos. I'm going to go to the File menu here and hit New Script, and I get a blank page untitled R editor. I'm going to take one further step. I'm going to click on the Windows option and hit tile vertically. Look at this. My screen is nicely divided into the editor space here on the left and the console space here on the right. And I can place input into my editor. Let's try one plus seven. And if I hit control R, it'll hop right over to the console and evaluate it. One plus seven equals eight. Now you can pass more than one line at a time from the editor over to the console. So I've got some addition here. Let's try a few more basic mathematical operations. We'll give you some subtraction, do a little bit of multiplication, and we'll do some division, and an exponent or two, or just one's enough for now. Okay, I'm going to use my mouse to highlight them. Alternatively, I can use shift and the arrow keys, hit control R, that same command, and it passes those lines over to the console to be evaluated. We can see how the output looks here. A couple things to take note of. 1 minus 8 is equal to negative 7. That is denoted as a negative number with a minus sign out in front. Uh, you'll see that the 44 over 100 is less than 1. Therefore, it comes out as a decimal number. Uh, now, some decimals aren't going to terminate so nicely as that. So we'll look at one that's a little longer. You can see it gives it a certain degree of specificity. Uh, lastly, large numbers are given to you as output in scientific notation. So here we have 5 to the 13th power is around 4.21 times 10 to the 22nd. Now this is going to be my apology for using the GUI and that is simply that when you enter multiple lines of input it might be nice to keep record of what you're up to. If you're writing a script, something you wish to use more than once or something you wish to be able to share and show people, it's something you're going to want to be able to save. So working just in the console isn't going to give you that option and this GUI incorporates the two things nicely with one another. So if I wish to save these lines of code, if they're important to me for some reason, I can go ahead and hit save script up here or just hit control plus S and it's going to open a very familiar Windows dialog. I can give the thing a name and it'll save as a .r file in our script and we can do things with it later. So we'll go ahead and save this one. Notice that the name appears now here at the top of the editor as ep underscore one dot r. So that way if I close this file or I close the entire thing, it's asking me to save a workspace image. Don't worry, I'll explain that stuff later. I can get back in easily and open it up, pick up right where I left off. So here we are. I can run my program again. Simple enough. Those are the very basics of using the Argui, passing input to the console, getting output, taking a look at it. We're going to get to more complicated things later, but that's a solid foundation. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like this video, share this video with folks, and keep coming back to mybringback.com.